the commands required for this experiment are node mc board stepper motor driver stepper motor connecting cable and connecting wires Now log into the Blink Dot Cloud website. Now go to Developer Zone and click on New Template. Here enter the template name and select the hardware as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi-Fi and click on the Done button. Now go to Data Streams and click on New Data Stream and select Virtual Pin. Here we need to uh, create two data streams. First one is switch 1 and select the pin as V1. If you want, we can change the color. Then click on the create button. Now create the second data stream. Again go to new data stream and select virtual pin. Here enter switch 2. You can give any name. And select the pin as V2. And click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard and drag two switch widgets. Now go to the settings and here select the data stream. Select switch 1 for the first one. Click on the save button and now go to the settings of switch 2. And here also select the data stream. And click on the save button. Now save the template. Now go to devices and here click on new device and click from template. And here you can see the template which we created. So select that template and click on the create button. Now copy this template ID, template name and authentication token and paste in the program. And enter the Wi-Fi username, Wi-Fi password. Now define the pins also. And now go to tools and select the board ESP8266 node MC 1.0 and then select the port and click this arrow button and upload the program to the node mcu board now the program is successfully uploaded to the node mcu board now we can set up the blink mobile dashboard for that download the blink iot application from the play store once you open the application you can see the template which we created on the blink web dashboard now click on the template now select the settings button now then click on this plus button now here we need to add two button widgets. The first button is to control the stepper motor in the clockwise direction and the second button is to control the motor in the anti-clockwise direction. Now click on this first button. Here select the data stream and select switch 1. Here select the button mode as switch. Now go to design. Here we can give the name for the button. I am giving the name as clockwise. Now go back. Now click on the second button. Here select the data stream as switch 2. Now select the button mode as switch. Go to design. Here give the name as anti clockwise. Now go back. Again go back. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output. 